to us, you know, it's a, it's a great opportunity for every person on our team that they're favored to every weight class. So every person on the team has a severe challenge and has an opportunity to really put a, a signature win on their resume. And if they fall short and they approach it right and they approach it to win, and they fall short that they should be better for their experience. So, I mean, we've always been committed to making sure that these teams are on our schedule. Now we're guaranteed it. And, um, you know, overall it's a, a great collective opportunity, but it's a very good opportunity for the development of our individuals. And they, they need to feel that this is the competition that they uh, signed on for when they came here. So um, hopefully we'll get a good match out. But they'll, they absolutely will come in and, and be prepared to to wrestle because I'm sure they don't want to repeat a week of practice like they had this last week. So. Well, AJ was saying last weekend with no match, you sort of treated it like like a match weekend, had weigh-ins and they had a couple matches. Yes. How, how did you treat that? Well, I mean, AJ did tell you right, and, it, and it's the plan, and we'll do it again next weekend, that North Carolina State, that weekend we never expected to have off, and next weekend we did, and it's nice to have one weekend off. Uh, I'm not sure I wanted two, so we – we wanted to simulate match conditions so that they had a way in. We gave them an hour, just like a dual meet. They have an hour to hydrate, put a little food in, and then they uh, they had two matches where it was an official and they had a full mat to do it. So it it simulated, you know, a match competition weekend, and uh, and I think it was very helpful for us. That otherwise, what we were simulating was Christmas break, and that's the last thing we wanted to do. That they had two weeks without making weight and their weight gets high and then we have a sluggish week of practice going into Oklahoma State. So um, it was the right call. Now uh, now we just got to get ready to wrestle. I know for Corey and Nathan and Blot Haven was a real struggle and they were kind of sluggish out there. Are they hmm. back to where they need to be, do you feel, at this point? Or uh, I think we'll know more Saturday, but uh, I think they're, they have to be in a better position than they were going home for Christmas. I mean, it's a, it's a really tough thing on all of them, but it's a really tough to, that are really, you know, being challenged uh, from their weight class in both the first two weights. And unfortunately, it's the first two to go out. So, um, yeah, it was probably a match both of them uh, would like to forget, you know, in front of the home, in front of their parents and so forth. So uh, there was a lot of motivation for them to to have a good week of practice and have a good week of weight management and carry it into this weekend. And, and both will be severely challenged. I mean, Nathan will probably wrestle as good of an opponent that he's going to wrestle all year. So this is a, a, a valuable match for him. You to see how your 174-pounder responds against Perry? Well, you know, he's, he's a competitor he's excited about. It. And he wrestled Perry uh, once last year, and, uh, you know, now it'll be a good – measuring stick to see you know how much ground we uh, covered but it's it's not a, a, a static measuring stick because Perry's getting better also but, uh, but Bubba's excited about it I mean that's the one thing Bubba is is a competitor and uh, you know he's looking forward to it so uh, hopefully we have a very good experience out there we'll see